Um, but like when, when I have that, and then um, I would like turn my suitcase on on, on the armrest and like my arm, I'm holding it. Alvin King is staying in the Manassas Red Roof Inn now, but it is only temporary. But this is my new buddy. Oh, hey, Amen. <laughs> When Dana Sherman first met him three weeks ago, the 42-year-old was alone on the sidewalk, trying to balance his suitcase as he pushed his electric wheelchair down the street. Miss Dana is taking the time to like, put a tablet in front of me. You really meant to lie. King was born with neither arms nor legs, a birth defect he believes was caused by his mom taking thalidomide her morning sickness when she was pregnant with him. He lived with her until she passed away in March. It's like my mom is... My King spent the next few months in a nursing home in Baltimore County, but he says it was so horrible that he put himself on a bus to Manassas. He grew up in Northern Virginia. Alvin is not looking for, you know, a castle. He is just simply looking for a roof over his head where he is safe and he's warm. The churches, the charities have so far not done what you thought they would. I am a little discouraged. Sherman's own mom was just diagnosed with cancer. So she is trying to organize an army of volunteers to help King. She just set up a GoFundMe, hoping to gather enough so he can move into a home. I really want to. He's perfect. So let's see what they have here for their address. King desperately wants to be independent. He dreams of becoming a motivational speaker, like his idol, Nick Buchizik in Australia. I wish that I can work. When I see a person that, that has down the legs and like that are really being lazy, I'm like, that was my spirit. You, know? you could share and give so much to me. I think so. Lend him a hand and he'd offer the world. <laughs> In Manassas, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. Wow. For Alvin King is getting some help right now from Social Security announced SNAP and Medicaid, but Dana Sharman. Uh, she says the long-term solution cannot possibly be to send such a bright and generous spirit we saw there back to wither away the rest of his life in a nursing home. My goodness. Uh, it's a, really an incredible story yeah. about the, the power of connection, right? Mm -hmm. Dana didn't know Alvin, and yet they forged this yeah. connection, and she's on a mission to help him, mm -hmm. and he also wants to help mm -hmm. people, too. I know we live in a good and generous community, though, and I know someone's yeah. heart is going to be touched by that story, and so we're going to stay with this story yeah, because yeah. we believe this is not the end of this saga for, for Dana and Alvin. It is just the beginning. And I'm glad we got to share that with you. Thank you. Great job. Yeah. Great job. Thank you.